Hello everyone, so today I am doing a look on this makeup look that I am dying for. Oh my god, these are like my favorite looks to wear ever. It is using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I know I'm a little bit Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow obsessed, but I can't help it. She just makes my favorite shadows ever. Like all of the colors are just perfect. And especially since the trend this year is coral, I am just so beyond excited to be just putting on corals and oranges and coppers, yellows, golds, everything on my face. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. I upload videos every Monday and Thursday, so please subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to be notified as soon as I post, then hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and keep watching if you want to see how to get this makeup. So we're going to start off with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this foundation because even though it says like medium coverage, it gives you like a full coverage look without looking cakey or dry on the skin. I just love it. So we're going to blend that all over the face. And then using the NYX HD Concealer. I like this concealer because it's very creamy and hydrating. And we're going to put that under the eyes and onto the eyes as well to prime for shadows when we set that with a powder. So just blending that out with the same damp beauty blender all over that eye area. I like using this because it picks up the excess. Then using the CoverGirl Clean Powder, I'm going to pat this underneath and onto the eye area to set that area, make it more smooth, patting so it doesn't move around the product, and then pressing it in with a damp beauty blender to make it look more skin-like. This helps it look less cakey and powdery and more like skin. So then using the Armed and Gorgeous palette, we are going into the shade Access, and we are going to take this color and blend it all into that upper crease area all over the transition area. I'm building up this shade because this is going to be like the main color for the lid. Even though we are going to add in deeper shades into the crease, this is going to be the color that everything fades out to and it's such a beautiful color. This is like my favorite shade in the entire vault collection. It's so unique and so beautiful. Then we are going to be going in with the shade Agent, which is a paler orange. It's kind of like just a straight up tangerine color and it looks kind of scary in the pan but it's so beautiful onto the eyes so we're going to blend that into that deeper part of the crease and just blending it all over the place not taking it up too high because we want it to fade into that access color and then we're going to be going in with the shade Secure, doing the same thing that we did with, with Agent. This is just going to add a little bit more deepness and depth into the look so our eyes don't look one-dimensional. They can have a nice fade from color. And then going in with a little bit of excess on that brush and just blending out that transition area again. Then going into the Ring the Alarm palette, we're going to be taking that shimmery copper shade called On Camera. This is another one of my favorites. This is my favorite in the Ring the Alarm palette. And putting that all over the lid. We really don't have to do much because this shade is so pigmented and foiled that it just goes right on as you can see and it's such a beautiful golden copper shade and it really is going to make your eye color stand out. Then going back in to Armed and Gorgeous, taking Guilt Trip just on the center of our lid so our eyes can pop and then on the lower lash line with the flat definer taking Secret from the Ring the Alarm palette and we are going to press that onto the base of where the lashes grow on the bottom with a flat definer and then just blending that out with that access shade on a smudging brush. Do not blend out with the flat definer brush. Use a smudging brush and really blend that lower lash line out super duper far. I love doing a really, really thick lower lash line, especially with a look like this because it really makes your eyes stand out and it makes your eye color pop and it's just such a beautiful look to do. Then we're going to take the Essence Silky Nude Liner and put it on the lower waterline, but I changed my mind because I didn't like how white it was, so I went over it with Guilt Trip, and then I did my lashes and brows off camera, and then we are going to bronze the face with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and just bronzing the outer perimeter of the face, so along the cheekbones and the cheeks, 
I did do my nose and my neck off camera, but I just showed you the cheeks and the forehead just so you could get the gist of what I was doing. And then I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Cream to Powder Highlight in the shade Champagne. I realized I like doing this with my fingers before I go in with my blush. It just helps everything look much more natural and it helps blend it when you go in with your blush afterwards. It's very much like those ColourPop cheek highlighters. You kind of have to do it before everything else and then we're also going to do the nose and the cupid's bow this highlight is so blinding i love it then going in with pop it Don't peach blush from too faced this is such a beautiful color and make sure to tap off the excess because it is very very pigmented we're going to be putting this on the apple of the cheek and up the cheekbones and then what i like to do is take my damp beauty blender and go along the perimeter of that area just so it can blend out and so there's no harsh lines of blush, bronzer, and highlight so the face can look very harmonious. And then coating the lips with Essence Nude Love Lipstick and going over it with the Balm Read My Lips Lip Gloss in the shade Pop, which is going to help bring in that corally tone to the lips so it's not like all peachy and orange and then you just have a nude pink this is gonna help tie everything together so it all can match and look beautiful so that is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoy I am living for this look right now please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching bye mm -hmm.